it's that last one. It does, I feel like I should be flying. Okay, everybody, let's stand up. I hope you're all doing well. Let's shake a little blood in the hands. If at any point tonight you get cold and you need to stand up and shake some blood into your body, feel free to do it. I got my booster this past week. Yes, it made playing the piano the next night very interesting. That sore arm business, but otherwise, that and little fatigue, it was great. So, um, glad you're all here. Let's get our voices warmed up today. Um, what I want you to all think about, all of us, is as we approach our higher voices, our higher, higher range, I want you to think about letting the pitches float out versus pushing them out. All right? So think about that as we begin. We're going to start in the mid-range, G major. Yo, 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 yo. higher range where we need to think float versus push. Let's go down into the low range now. Um, let's start on C major. Zoom um, um, C major. Oh, that's the wrong key. Uh, let's go to um, let's go to D major. D. Um, so, so, C, C, C. So, so, si, si, si. 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 We're bringing it into the face. Let it float. C major. Great. Now we're going to sing. I love to sing. When you sing the word love, let the tongue help you settle itself on the floor of the uh, mouth. I love, if I, if I didn't have my mask on, you could see me doing it. <laughs> I love to sing. At the same time, make sure the roof of your mouth is tall. The whole idea is to maximize the space in your mouth. Okay? Give as much resonance as you can. 
I love to sing. And in that chord and hum it. Good. We're going to sing that again and then when I cue you, you're going to go up a half step. Will you play what that sounds like, please? All right. So let's start here. The G. Any note in the chord. Half step higher, half step higher. Do you hear how wonderful that sounds? Chords out of context are easy to tune. We can sing chords in tune all day long. If we get to a place in the song and a chord doesn't ring in tune, it is never the chord's fault. <laughs> And a lot of times, it's, I, I can't even say it's the singer's fault. What happens a lot of times is as we're singing, we accumulate intonation issues. And everything becomes relative to whatever pitch you were just singing. For instance, when we go, la, 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 and I point up a lot of times when we sing that third to make sure it's high. Because if you sing it low, the one's going to be low. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Okay, so this is why it's so important. We talked about this last year when we were Zooming. By the way, I was thinking about this today. I can remember our last rehearsal, March 20th, uh, March 2nd, 2020, like it was yesterday. I remember having dinner with my aunt beforehand. I remembered a comment I made in rehearsal. I remember walking out with a couple of the people on the board and saying, Okay, if we need to miss one or two rehearsals, we'll still be okay. I feel good about this. <laughs> I remember that like it was yesterday. Our Zoom sessions feel like they were a lifetime ago. I mean, like, I can't even remember what happened. So strange. So strange. But we talked about this linear tuning almost every time we met on Zoom, talking about keeping things in tune. Pay attention to those things when we sing. C major. One, two, T, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, five, one. There is another reason that I like the altos and tenors singing the six and the four. And not just because it's a playable cadence and it's beautiful, like amen, but because the six and the fours ring flat. And if the six and the fours ring flat, the five and the three is going to ring flat too. So pay a lot of attention to this. Here we go, C major. Ready? And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight, seven, six. to our last chord, go to an ah. We're not going to do six, five, four, six, five, whatever, or all of that. Just hold the chord. Up a half step. Forte. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight, seven, six, five, four, Do one more thing. We're going to go up a half step, keep it forte, do everything 
we've just done, but on the last chord, I want you to think of your tone spinning out from you. Okay? Up a half step. Ready? <sighs> Than the previous iteration. That's beautiful. Let's do it up another half step. Go to three F's. Ready? I think we should sing that at a concert sometime. <laughs> Have a seat, please. Have a seat. Mm -hmm.